What is low content book publishing? Find out a little bit more in this video. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And on this channel we talk a lot about low content book publishing. And I thought I'd make a video for those of you who are interested in low content book publishing or you have heard the term low content book publishing and you want to find out a little bit more about it. How do you make money online with KDP? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Nuria Corby and I'm the owner of thehomeboss.com and as you know, that's also the name of my YouTube channel. I started my online journey with a jewellery business and then I went on to blogging because I love writing and I was looking for other ways of making money online. And whilst blogging, I came across Amazon KDP and publishing low content books. I should say that KDP stands for Kindle Direct publishing and it's the platform that Amazon uses to sell books. So I started making low content books after watching hours of YouTube videos and reading blog posts about how to start and how much people were making and that inspired and motivated me. The people I watched were Rachel Harrison Sand, Kelly Publish, Paddy at Stacking Profit and Shashwat Ashia. Those are just a few. I watched many, many more and I'm going to cover the basics of getting started but I will leave a link to tutorials on my YouTube YouTube channel and my free Facebook group that you can join. This video is just generally about how you can get started and what the benefits are of starting your publishing business. When did I start? I started in November 2019. If I remember correctly, my first book was a budget planner, but I think it's best to start with a lined notebook because they are much easier to make and then once you know the process, you can make other types of books. And I started right in the middle of Q four, quarter four, which is the last quarter of the year, which is October, November and December. And traditionally, that is the busiest quarter of the year where online sales are concerned. I think this helped with getting those first sales for me. My journey went like this. I got my first sale after about two weeks, which is great. I think that that is not typical. Sometimes it takes a lot longer, but I think that because it was quarter four, it was a little bit easier for me to get those first sales. So my income in the first year was like this. In December, when I started, I made $327. And that is quite a good amount for somebody who is just starting. I will honestly say that it it can take a lot longer to make that kind of money but I think I was lucky in that I uploaded some books that people obviously liked and uh, they were popular and as I said it was quarter four and people were looking for Christmas presents and I think my books were the kind of books that people like to buy as gifts. So then in January of course Christmas was over and sales went down and I made $131. And you can see that the following months were very up and down. I didn't do very well in February and March and then April it was a little bit better. In May I broke through the thousand dollar barrier which was amazing for me and then in June again was a really good month and I thought this is a great business to get into. But as you can see the following months in the summer were very up and down. It was still a good amount of money but not enough to have a full-time income. I live in London which is a very expensive city and that wasn't really enough to to sustain paying my bills or my mortgage. So I started being a little bit disappointed in the business and I thought that it was quite slow. I made more books for quarter four and I think that improved the situation because in October I then again broke the thousand dollar barrier and I made one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. November was even better with five thousand two hundred and eighty dollars and then in December that was the month where I decided that I was going to continue this business and put all my effort into it because I made $9,665. And then in January it went down again to $3,392 but that is actually very good for January because normally in January people don't spend too much money. They've spent all their money for Christmas and traditionally again those are very lean months, the same as in summer. 
but I was still very happy with those $3,392. The reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to see the potential that this business has. I know that there are no guarantees. I'm not saying that you're going to earn the, the same amount of money or that you're going to earn the same level of money, but I'm saying that this is possible because I had no experience in this business and uh, I make all my books on Canva. At the beginning, I used to make them on PowerPoint and so they're all free tools that you can use and I did everything manually and this is just to show you what can be achieved if you put in the time and effort. Of course I know that a lot of people are doing this and they're not selling any books and I would say that that is usually because they either haven't made many books or they've made very generic books that are not targeted at a specific audience and sometimes it just takes a longer time for people to succeed. So it took me this time to really be consistent in my sales. I didn't want a business where one month I make some money and then the next month I don't. So I gave myself a year to see where this was going to lead and I can see now that there are certain months that are worse than others and some months are better than others and you have to really look at your whole year of business to see if it's worth doing for you or not. So I would recommend for anyone who's starting this to give themselves a year to see what happens and I would say that it's a good idea to start this as a side hustle rather than doing it full time to begin with because you just don't know if this is going to work for you. KDP isn't for everyone. Some people will find it harder than others and it's like any other business. Any business needs a lot of work, a lot of dedication, a lot of not giving up and the right mindset. So Sometimes it works for people and sometimes it doesn't. But if it doesn't work for you, you've still gained a lot of experience that's transferable to other things. So I would say give it a try because as you can see for me, it worked out really well. And I know many other people who are running good businesses by publishing on KDP. So what exactly are low content books? Low content or no content books is a made up term. There is no official meaning in any dictionary that explains what low content or no content books are. But they are books that have very little or no written content, like for example, lined notebooks, sketchbooks, journals, logbooks and planners. So they're basically books that you don't write but other people can fill them out and use them. So some of them have no content at all, like for example, sketchbooks, because they're just blank pages. And some have lined paper, like notebooks, and others are a little bit more complex, like a logbook or a planner, where there are calendars inside and other type of content. But they're not books that you have to write. You don't have to write anything. It's just about designing the book. And KDP was never intended for low content books. KDP was intended for novels, for non-fiction books, that kind of thing. But somebody had the idea of making low content books and it worked. So where can you see examples of low content books? All you have to do is go on Amazon.com and type notebook self-published into the search bar and this will show you examples of notebooks that are self-published on Amazon KDP and as you can see there are so many you could also type in journal self-published or planner self-published any type of low content book you can type that into amazon.com and see what's available and what people have made so how can you get started? It's free to start publishing on KDP. All you need to do is open a KDP account and then upload your cover and interior and fill out the details for your book. That's it, no cost. And Amazon pay you monthly royalties after 60 days every month. You create a digital version of your book and it's for sale on Amazon. When a customer buys your book, Amazon prints it and delivers it to your customer. So there is no need to buy or hold stock, no need to store anything and no need to ship anything to your buyer. You don't have to deal with returns or customer queries. Amazon does all that for you. You make your book in two parts. One is the cover 
and one is the interior and then you upload both onto Amazon. And your cover is one of the most important ways to appeal to your buyers and the back of the book, the front of the book and the spine are designed all in one piece. And for the interior there are free templates that you can use or you can make your own on Canva, PowerPoint or any other design tool that you prefer and there are lots of tutorials online. So how can you approach publishing low content books? There's two main ways. One is to make an income. From this you can make publishing into your part-time income or even full-time income and make different books in diverse niches and that can be your whole business and you make money from that. But you can also use making low content books as a product production. So you can make products for your established business. So you can make logbooks, journals and planners and workbooks for a business that you already have. For example, if you are a coach, you can make a workbook for your clients. If you are a blogger, you can make a book or a planner or a journal for your brand. Or if you are a person trainer you could make a logbook for your business where people can log their progress so for any established business you could make a low content book as a product that you can sell for your business publishing a book is not only about uploading the cover and the interior you also have to do research and your research should cover niches and keywords. What are niches? Well, putting a notebook on Amazon is not enough. You need to find a profitable niche. So it's not enough to just call your notebook notebook and put it on Amazon because there are thousands of notebooks already. So you have to find a niche and that means finding an audience. So you could make a notebook for nurses or a notebook for teachers or for students. You find an audience that you want to target. And the other thing you have to research are keywords. Keywords are the words that potential buyers type into the Amazon search bar to find your books. It's like when you want to buy anything on Amazon, you search for it in the Amazon search bar and what you're typing in are keywords. So you have to research the kind of keywords that people would type into Amazon to find your book. So those two things are important when you upload your books, you have to do a little bit of research first. The other thing that is worth mentioning is that the 80-20 rule applies. So 80% of your earnings come from 20% of your books. I can say that about 20 to 30% of my books sell. So that means that all the other books never sell. And I think that rule can be applied to all sorts of businesses. It's usually that 80% of your effort produces 20% of the result. So I think that you will have a lot of books that never sell. I have a lot of books that never sell, about 80 to 70%. And only 20% of your books will really sell. So it's worth bearing that in mind when you create your books. The other thing to remember, it's all about quality, not quantity. A lot of YouTubers and KDP gurus are teaching to make lots of books to stand a better chance of selling. And that is not true any longer. Make quality books that are well researched and you will make more sales than by making lots of low quality books. I also think that KDP is perfect as a side hustle. It can be a bit of a roller coaster at first. One minute you're up, the next minute you're down and then up again. It's hard to stay motivated when you start and you don't see any results. So I always recommend that you start KDP as a side hustle if you're thinking of making this your main income because that takes any pressure off and helps your creativity flourish. So the right mindset is really important. And another hurdle that people face is they don't get started. So I always say done is better than perfect. Sometimes we want to create a really perfect product, a really perfect book and we're kind of stopping ourselves from even getting started. So don't worry about your first few books. My first few books that I made are not that great but I got them up there, I uploaded them onto Amazon and you really need to overcome that first hurdle, the, the fear of uploading your first book. So always remember that done is better than perfect and you can improve in time. So this video is really just explaining a little bit 
on how this all works in general and uh, I've got a playlist on YouTube that walks you exactly through the steps of publishing your first notebook and uh, you can watch it I will leave a link to that underneath this video and you can do this you can absolutely publish your first notebook onto Amazon KDP so I hope you found that interesting and I hope it has encouraged you maybe to start your KDP journey. Maybe you just want to earn a little bit of money on the side and you publish a few notebooks and see how it goes. Or maybe you want to start your own publishing business and you want to do this full time. Or maybe you've already got an established business and you just want to create a product for your business or workbook a branded notebook or something like that and that is possible on Amazon KDP. So if you feel encouraged and you want to give this a try, subscribe to my channel and uh, get more information and I've got lots of tutorials on how to do this. You can also join our Facebook group, the Home Boss group and everybody's very helpful. You can ask any questions there. We've all been at a beginner stage so we know what it's like to start this from scratch so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye